It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. In a speech in 1966, Robert Kennedy said, there is a Chinese curse which says, may he live in interesting times. Well, if anything, the financial markets and the economy have certainly been interesting. May delivery for West Texas crude oil sank to an all-time low, a negative $37 a barrel on Monday, a staggering level that essentially meant producers would have to pay buyers to take oil off their hands. Later in the week, 4.4 million Americans filed for unemployment, pushing the current number of unemployed to more than 26 million. Hard to believe we were at full employment as a country just two months ago. Meanwhile, the markets continue to stabilize even as oil hit new lows. Stocks like Amazon, Eli Lilly, Johnson & Johnson hit not only new highs for the year, but hit their highest prices in history. Now, Warren Buffett, the greatest investor of our generation, often says he was born lucky that he won the ovarian lottery, being born in America when his skills as an investor allowed him to thrive. While if he were born in any other time in history or any other country, not only may he not have been successful, he may not even have lived very long. I think we can all thank our lucky stars that we also won the ovarian lottery when it comes to the current pandemic. Many of us have grandparents and great uncles and aunts who shared how horrible it was during the 1918 flu pandemic just 100 years ago, the deadliest in human history. They killed an estimated 50 million people, the equivalent of over 200 million today. In 1918, doctors knew viruses existed, but had never seen one. Electron microscopes had not yet been invented. Today, our medical professionals not only know how to isolate a virus, but can find its genetic sequence, test antiviral drugs, and even develop a vaccine. Somehow, our families and our economy survived. See, the Dow in 1918 was trading at 71. And even with the current correction in the Dow, it's now trading at over 23,000. The United States gross domestic product in 1918 was around 600 billion. Today, we're closing in on $19 trillion. So many investors today are sitting on the sidelines waiting for clarity or a test of the recent lows in March. Clearly, they have no understanding and appreciation of history. Would it matter to our grandparents if they had bought the Dow when it was trading at 71 or if it dropped to 50 or 100 for that matter? What would you have done? Wait for clarity? In 1918, the world was flying blind. Today, we have every country in the world, every medical company razor focused on one thing ending this pandemic. Given the unprecedented monetary and fiscal stimulus and the pent up demand from the global lockdown, are you waiting like the economists and the talking heads on TV to see if this recovery will be shaped like a U, a W, an L, or a V? Remember, Warren Buffett always warns us, economists exist for the sole reason to make fortune tellers look good. What advice would you have given your grandparents in 1918 when the Dow was trading at 71? What would you have done? Remember, the four most dangerous words for investors, it's different this time. Hey, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my risk tolerance? Is my advisor trying to make fortune tellers look good? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? My son, Ryan, and I have over 70 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based strategies that give you and your family the highest probability of success. All you have to do is simply call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.